Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the seed parameter at the end of your prompts to help you create better prompts and explain its function and how you can better incorporate this into your prompt craft. Version 3 and version 4 utilize these seed parameters in different ways. I'll go into a bit of an explanation on how they do this. I'll leave timestamps in the description below to help you jump around this video. So currently there's five versions of Midjourney. There's versions 1 through 4 in Niji mode. The primary versions of Midjourney that are currently used are typically 3 and 4. These are going to be the two that we're talking about in this video. I'll go more into depth on the different versions of Midjourney in a different video. I'll try to link that down below. So now I'll explain what a seed is. The Midjourney bot uses seed numbers to create a field of visual noise. It uses these as a starting point to generate the initial images grid. Seed numbers are generated randomly for each image you produce, unless you specifically choose to pick a seed number. To do this, you do dash dash seed. Now we'll go a little more in depth on what those numbers do in each version of Midjourney. All right, we're gonna start in version four. So essentially, the seed prompt in version four will give you an exact copy of the image that you've just created, if you use the same seed again. So first we're going to type in our imagine prompt, red apple in a tree, dash dash seed one. We'll go ahead and hit enter and produce our image. Now that we have our first image, let's go ahead and produce our second image. We're going to add in the same prompt with the same seed value. So let's do that now. All right, now that the image is finished, we can see that these two images are the same. They use the same seed, so they produce the same image. Now we'll go over to version three. All right, first thing, let's go ahead and go into our settings. Then we'll switch to version three. And then we'll go ahead and do our same prompt as we did before, as we did in version four. So we'll go ahead and do imagine. And then we'll prompt the red apple in a tree, dash dash seed one. Now that that image is finished, we'll go ahead and do the same prompt command again with the dash dash seed one parameter at the end. Now if we look at these two images side by side, they both have a similar feel to them. The objects are placed nearly in the same position in the image. The apple is about center in all four images. There's slight differences to each apple in the squares that mirror each other. If we continue to use the same seed, We'll get nearly the same image, but with slight differences. Though all four of the boxes will still remain pretty dissimilar. The benefit with this though, is that we can continue to produce more similar images to hone in really what we're looking for. Now there's another seed command that we can use in version three, and that's gonna be dash dash same seed. And let me show you how that works. The same seed parameter acts in a nearly similar fashion to the seed parameter. The difference here is going to be that the same seed parameter will produce a four image grid of nearly similar images. Most of the images will be slight variations of each other. Let me show you how that works. All right, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and enter our old prompt in, except this time we're gonna enter in red apple in a tree, dash dash, same seed, one. Here's our finished image. These four images look pretty similar. This is kind of the result that you'll get with same seed. The position of the stem is in the same place, the apple is nearly in the same place, and it just has a similar background. Same seed is going to produce an image on a consistent basis that will allow you to slowly edit your image and make slight variations to it. This gives you a little more control over the direction of the variation of images. It's a useful tool when you can use it correctly. All right, here's another useful tool. Let's say you've created an image, but you didn't start with a seed, but you want to find out what that seed is. It's actually pretty simple. In order to do this, we can go over here to the emoji. We can add a reaction. We're going to look for the envelope. We're going to go ahead and click on that and mark it with an envelope. Then we can go ahead and go to our messages. The mid journey bot will send us a message with a job ID and also tell us the seed. As you can see here, 
it says seed what. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative or entertaining, please consider dropping a like or a subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And I have more tutorial videos for Midjourney down below. Please check them out. Thanks.